questions interviewers ask and what they really mean. Tell me about yourself. Here the interviewer wants to know whether you are an excellent fit for the job role. Try answering this question without giving too much or too little personal information about yourself. Also, be careful to state interesting facts that are not written on your CV. Why should we hire you? The interviewer wants to know whether you are the right candidate for the job. To answer this question, be prepared to explain why you should be selected over all other candidates. What is your greatest strength or what is your weakness? The interviewer wants to know whether you have all the requirements for that particular job role. In explaining your strengths, be sure to mention how it would help this particular company's bottom line. In addressing your weaknesses, be sure to mention them in a positive light, giving examples of how you have worked through them and improved upon yourself in the past. Why are you leaving your current job role? Or why did you leave your previous job role? Here, the company wants to know why you want to work for them. Be sure to keep your reasons as positive and forward-looking as possible, especially if the reason why you're leaving your previous role is not a positive one. So there you have it, four questions interviewers usually ask and what they really need. See you next week on Tidbit Tuesday. Today we'll be talking about five money mistakes that entrepreneurs are very likely to make. One, mingling personal accounts with business accounts. If you're a sole proprietor and you're just starting out your business, it's very likely that you may mix your personal money with the company's money. It's wise to separate accounts. That way, even when you're transferring money from your personal account to your business account, it's defined and then you could make expenses for the business from your business account. Two, focusing solely on income. As an entrepreneur, you need to be mindful of all the things that your business entails, both your assets and your liabilities. You need to be mindful of how you're spending your income and make sure that your business is afloat. Three, not budgeting for variable income. Always make sure that you have proper records of any extra money that may come in. That way, you're able to track how much you're actually making for the business. Four, not saving for your future self. Once you start making profits, you need to pay yourself, just like any other employee would demand salary at the end of the month. Five, not protecting your money. Entrepreneurs make the mistake of taking on the role of an accountant, especially when they have no idea about the profession whatsoever. You need to protect your money and make the right decisions concerning your expenditure and your income, or hire a professional to do it. So there you have it. Five money mistakes that entrepreneurs are very likely to make. Share your thoughts on this in the comment section below. See you next week on Tidbit TV. Peace. Tuesday, we'll be talking about five ways by which you can improve your public speaking skills. I like to call them the four P's and then E. Plan. You need to determine what you want to say and how you want to say it. 
two, practice. A good way you could practice is by looking at yourself in the mirror and going through your speech. Three, positivity. On the day of your speech, you need to have the aura of confidence. You need to be filled with positive vibes only. Make sure there's no negativity in your mind and your heart. That would help you project the kind of response you would have from your audience. So that's three Ps. The E is engagement. During your speech, you need to engage your audience. Find creative ways of making them involved in their whole experience. And the last one, performance assessment. Once you're done with your speech, you need to assess yourself to determine where you went wrong, where you went right, and the ways by which you could be better. That way, you're constantly improving as a public speaker. So there you have it, five ways by which you could improve upon your public speaking skills. See you again on Tisbit Tuesday. You know what that means? Tidbit Tuesday time. Woo, woo, woo. Today we're talking about four ways in which you can spark innovation in your team. Now if you don't have a team, don't worry. You can spark innovation in your life. One, ask unusual questions. Unusual questions could be in the form of open-ended questions to incite things that you would not easily think about, things that are not everyday thoughts. Ask unusual questions. Two, create an atmosphere of confidence. No one likes to be shut down or have their ideas looked down on or to be rejected. If you want your team to be more innovative, it helps if you create an ambiance where no matter what they say, it's welcome and accepted. No idea is too foolish, no idea is too stupid. Three, turn to new sources. Your team may be worn out from doing the same old things over and over again. It helps to get fresh ideas, new blood, from people that are not a part of your team or even not in your field of expertise. You never know where the next great idea may come from out of your team. Four, go somewhere different outside of the office. A new environment and a new space could bring a new form of energy and air to your discussion. It helps if you get your team out of the office in order to engage them in a new way if you want them to be innovative. So that's it for today. Four ways in which you can add innovation to your team. See you next week on Tidbit Tuesday. sharing four ways by which you could be adequately prepared for your next job interview. One, have your outfit in the venue of the interview on lockdown way ahead of time. You need to find an outfit that you both feel comfortable in and look professional in. Additionally, you need to know where the venue of the interview is so that there are no mishaps in the last minute. Quick tip, it helps to be at the venue of the interview at least 30 minutes before the set interview time. Two, Greet your interviewers with a warm smile. This will set a positive precedence for your job interview. Three, study the contents of your CV thoroughly and know the stories behind every achievement, every job role, and every success that you have put on your CV. Four, research extensively on the job role you wish to occupy and the company you wish to occupy that job role in. Additionally, know how your strengths and weaknesses would benefit you in that role. It would also help your arguments if you have some innovative ideas by which you could be a positive addition to the company's bottom line. So there you have it, four ways by which you could be adequately prepared for your next job interview. See you next week on Tidbit Tuesday.
my name is Kayla Charity Geraldo and a third year student of Wisconsin International University College. I entered into the MTN Pulse Business Challenge because I'm all about the experience. I believe that meeting different people from different backgrounds is not only going to challenge me to do better, but it's going to give me an insight on how to build my critical thinking skills. Not, not uh, without being said, of course, I'm aiming for the money because I believe it's going to go a long way in boosting my business as well. I am the CEO of PA Affairs, a human resource company that is specializing in offering personal assistance, executive assistance and virtual assistant services for individuals, companies and entrepreneurs. So I believe that this, this challenge is a good thing for me and I am so glad to be participating. Thank you MTN, thank you HR Focus for giving me the platform not only to meet great and amazing people but also to build my skills for the future. Thank you. Hi there, my name is Regina Rachisu a final year business administration student at the University of Professional Studies Accra currently partaking in the MTN Powers Business Challenge. So over the years, Reginald has been somebody who is very passionate about leadership. He's very passionate about entrepreneurship as well. But you know, climbing the ladder has not been easy. But then due to the family and friends involvement, the family and friends motivation, it has brought me this far. Listen, there are some people who say um, they didn't know failure. Um, what failure became their friend. I was failure myself. But by the grace of God, I'm here. So. Be by the grace of God, if I'm able to win the MTM Pause Business Challenge, trust me, the hoping 10,000 Ghana cities can be invested into a business that I've started with a friend already, in the person of James Aim Alva and Linus as well. So this business is a black suit production, which can actually change the lives of many and change my life as well. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you, MTN. Thank you, school. Thank you, family and friends. And thank you all. And it's your boy, Officer Aydina. My name is Felicitina Koenkum, a final year student at Key University. I am an ambitious and passionate young lady. I entered the MTM Pulse App Challenge to further my dreams of becoming a global entrepreneur. And I believe when I win this challenge, it will go a long way to increase my knowledge, which will help me in future when I decide to pursue my ambitions as a global entrepreneur. I would use this money for an investment and to also start my business, which will be a stepping stone to achieving my great life dream. Thank you. Hi, my name is James A.M. Damte, a final year student of the University of Professional Studies, partaking in this year's MTN Pause Business Challenge. Over the years, I've been very enthused about entrepreneurship, and I see this as a platform to advocate and then share my experience in the field of entrepreneurship to the world. MTN HR Challenge has helped a lot of people, including my predecessors from UPSA, and I want to be part of this year's competition, not only to win, but to gather information and experience with regards to this. When I win this money, I'll join my friend in to build our business, Podash Processing Company, a manufacturing company that is into the production of soap with dry cocoa pot hacks, which serves as a waste. But when we use it for that, it serves as an economic factor for people living in rural communities. I stand for entrepreneurship. I stand for HR Focus. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. My name is Sylvia Tete, a level 300 student of the University of Ghana Business School. I was privileged to partake in this year's MTN Pulse Business Challenge and honestly, I'm learning a lot and I'm, I'm starting to believe in myself to a certain standard. When I get the opportunity to, to win this competition, I'll be able to expand my business, hopefully, and become a well-renowned entrepreneur of, our, of my time. Also, I believe that with determination, with prayers and with hard work, you can always achieve anything you want in life. I stand for MTN Pulse Business Challenge and I urge every single youth out there to partake in it. Thank you. Hello, my name is Queen, a business student at All Nations University, a participant in this year's business challenge. My hopes and aspirations in life is to be a philanthropist and also to be a billionaire because I believe in wealth. I believe with money on your side, you can, you can be able to help as much people as you would like to 
without money you can't really do much even if you would want to so that's my reason why i want to be a billionaire and i want to be a philanthropist to help people as much as i can and when it comes to the business challenge i believe that it has helped me in a very positive way to plan in terms of business and everything when I, and when it comes to me winning this challenge the 10,000 CDs, I would use it to push my personal business, which is in the food industry. So that's what I would do with the money. Thank you very much. My name is Ashraf Salahuddin. I'm a participant of this year's HR Focus Business Challenge. Now my aspiration is to be um, an entrepreneur and then also a great politician because politics is one difficult, something that is worrying the integrity of our nation and I seek to make changes to that. Now, um, coming to the business, um, MTN Paul's business challenge, it has really taught me a lot. It has taught me how to relate with people, how to work with a team and then how to, it has helped me in boosting my um, critical thinking ability. Then um, coming to the money, I mean the prize for the winner of the challenge. I seek to make investments with the 10,000 and also part of it go into my business, my current business that is a professional men's seals. We, we are dealing into the selling of seals and then also no enterprise. We, we, are, we are into the production of um, face mask, odor remover and then local toothbrush. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Boachi Joseph Anthony Berfi, a level 300 student, computer science student from Ornish University. Um, I am a startup CEO and co-founder of ERAQ Limited, um, which is um, a waste management company um, that, that is focused on trying managing waste through recycling. Um, our aim is to um, eliminate the use of landfills so that we can start recycling. And one of the things that we've done so far um, is to recycle um, plastic waste into fuel oil. Um, this um, MTN Pulse Business Challenge has been um, a great help to me. Um, I started this company with um, a colo participant after we won last year's competition. Um, and this year we came back, he couldn't come because he, he had finished school. Uh, we came back to, to win this year's competition and to use the 10,000 CDs um, as funding for our business. Um, um, the competition has helped me so much. It has built my, my many abilities and capacities for me, critical thinking, working with a team, um, and also solving problems and case study out of the bloom. Um, I, I would say that this competition has been um, educative, it has been informing and it has, it has helped me a lot, a lot as a computer science student. It has pushing me to the edge to, to dare to, to venture into business uh, and I'm very grateful thanks to this competition. Thank you. Hi, my name is Patrick Kumishina and I'm a postgraduate student from the University of Ghana Business School doing my MBA in marketing. I joined this competition because I want to sharpen my skills in business presentation and also to be part to understand what happens really in the business world. What happens if I win this competition? Way back in 2017, I did a project in Kofi Asim Mampong where I realized that three girls out of 23 girls had money for sanitary pad and the rest go to have sex for money for parts. So when I get this money, I'm going to buy sanitary pads and panties for them to make sure that they enjoy this Christmas and also have a livelihood that they can call theirs because it's not a crime to be a woman. Thank you. My name is Susu Alfred from All Nations University College where I study computer engineering. My dream is to start up a company Hence, I took this business challenge in order to get, get enable me get those skills. Okay. When if I win these ten thousand Ghana cities, I will create and I have a dream of creating an application that can be used for food ordering businesses. So, getting these ten thousand Ghana cities will enable me to fund my app and then launch to the market. Taking this challenge has also enabled me to gain insights on not just creating apps, but creating apps that are marketable and apps that people can use. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Deamua, a student at KNUST, and I also happen to be the CEO of Renters Ghana. 
what we do at Renters Ghana is we are a housing assistance company. So we provide a web application platform to help people get accommodation easily. Now through this challenge, I realized that every opportunity could be used for commercials. And that's how I've talked to you about Renters Ghana through this challenge. And what it came to is giving me the exposure, meeting new people, and then also with the money that the cash price, we plan revamping it into our business to improve it. To everyone out there watching me, I want to assure you that your big dreams are worth achieving. So never give up. Thank you very much. I'm Avma Silas. I'm a business student in UG and also a student um, leader. I took out this challenge because I want to have a feel of how business is, to, to learn about businesses and also to start um, my own business. You know, we are in Corona season and um, there will be um, um, food crisis very soon. So I, I want to, if I win this cash prize, I want to invest it into food business, so food production. So this is one thing that I've learned and then also today we learned a lot, especially when it comes to the presentation, you realize um, when you're dealing with a company, you should go with the company's colors. So this is something that we are learning and we have also learned how to, you know, deal with people, teamwork and everything. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Joseph Kwame Nkrumah and I'm a participant in the MTN Pulse Business Challenge and a student of the University of Professional Studies studying business, account, um, business administration. So my dream is to see our young ones we have in the country built on their love for technology and robotics to change the country and the world at large. So what I'll use the 10,000 when I become the winner is to help fund my project I'm currently working on, which is the Autism in Tech project, which is solely based on training autistic individuals in the field of robotics. That's, just, that's what I'll be using this money for. Hello, I'm Ashti Nyante, a student of the University of Ghana. I'm currently studying business administration, but I have a deep, deep love for technology and what it can do for people. I aspire to build a business that will not only compete to be the best in the world, but the best for the world. And I plan to do this through technology because because of technology, we've been able to do so much for people and improve the livelihoods of everybody around us. And through this challenge, I learned a lot that will help me in making my dreams come true. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us online and welcome to the virtual launch of the 2021 MTN Pulse Business Challenge Competition. We'll begin with an opening prayer. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for today. We are grateful for this opportunity to start this competition. We thank you that even as we are gathered here online and physically, that Everything that we've planned, Father, would come out successful. We pray committing all the participants into your hands that they would even benefit from this competition, whether or not they win the grand prize. We thank you for an answered prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, while we're online, kindly share the link. Share the link with all tertiary students. Share the link with all human beings that you may know. <laughs> Let everybody know that the MTN Pulse Business Challenge 2021 is being launched. Shortly, we would have the welcome address and it's being delivered by the Chief Executive of HR Focus, Dr. And Mrs. Ellen Hagan. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Good morning. It is truly an exceptional time to kickstart the MTN Pulse Business Challenge 2021. The Business Challenge is a competition held for tertiary students with the aim of unearthing entrepreneurial strengths in students. The competition is structured in a way 
that encourages students to think on their feet and outside the box to produce innovative business solutions relevant in today's working world. Our focus is on the youth primarily because they are the force of change in today's society and the next generation of thought leaders. Last year, in the thick of the pandemic, this competition reached a new height and successfully crowned a champion. For the past three years, MTN has come on board the Business Challenge as a title sponsor, knowing the power of the youth to inspire change and impact in the country. We believe there is no better organization to partner with as MTN Ghana is one of the leading telecommunications networks that has become a powerhouse for creating value in social enterprise with focus on economic empowerment. This is the sixth edition of the HR Focus Business Challenge and we are excited to have MTN on board once again to partner with us to create the MTN Pulse Business Challenge. We have seen the value of this competition through the years where students learn assertiveness, teamwork dynamics, business development principles, and innovation at its peak. We are calling on all tertiary students to visit events.hrfocusuniverse.com slash business challenge to be a part of this competition. There are so many prizes to be won and you just might be our next champion. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Dr. And Mrs. Ellen Hagan, for that welcome address. As she said, the MTN Polls Business Challenge has been running every year. This will be its sixth edition. And we're so excited that we've partnered with one of Ghana's leading telecommunications agencies, MTN Ghana. And very soon, we will have a representative to give an address. Before then, I would like to encourage every one of you to follow us on our social media handles to get updated on the competition, even beyond the MTN Pulse Business Challenge competition. HR Focus specializes in organizing events and programs that nurture and build the personal and career development of individuals and organizations. So, as we welcome the senior specialist of the youth segment consumer marketing MTN Ghana, Madam Gloria Champon, I would encourage you all to follow us on our social media platforms and stay engaged. again, executives from HR Focus, corporate partners, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. MTN is excited to be part of this year's Paul's Business Challenge, following the successful competition organized last year. In spite of the COVID restrictions and the fact that schools were closed down, the organizers ensured that the youth had an opportunity to exhibit their skills and talents in the 2020 edition of the Paul's Business Challenge. I would like to use this opportunity to congratulate the, the organizers, HR Focus, for the excellent work done last year and what they are doing now. Permit me also to congratulate last year's winner, Ms. Felicity Inkum of KNUST for winning the coveted prize. Congratulations, Felicity and we believe you are implementing all the additional skills you acquired during the business challenge to become a great entrepreneur. Ladies and gentlemen, MTM Pulse is supporting this year's challenge because we are convinced 
that many more people should be given the opportunity to build their capabilities as they learn the practical skills required to become an entrepreneur. We are excited this year. This year's challenge will take participants through the key principles required to grow a good business. Themes such as product development, brand strategy, price strategy, and sales strategy are very essential to making a business grow in a sustainable way. They also help entrepreneurs break through highly competitive markets. We are very hopeful that participants of this year's challenge will learn the requisite skills required to stay ahead of their competitors. Ladies and gentlemen, as a business, it is a pursuing, as a business pursuing the classism agenda, we are calling on Bedin entrepreneurs not to forget the importance of using digital solutions in their product development, as well as the various strategies they adapt to position their brands to drive sales and achieve their desired revenues. MTN is pursuing what we term Ambition 2025. Ambition 2025 aims at building the largest and most valuable platform business in Africa. Ambition 2025 is anchored on five pillars, FinTech Solutions, Digital Slash Ayoba, Enterprise, Network as a Service, and an API Marketplace. There are opportunities for everyone who hopes to utilize the platforms we are creating to grow their business in any of these areas. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the platforms MTN is using to create a lot of excitement for our customers is the Pulse platform, which provides a lot of juicy offers for our customers. You can enjoy the mashup offers, conversion of talk time to data, varied content which we term hot filler, and a whole lot of discounts offered by our loyalty partners. If you are yet to download the Pulse app, do well to visit the Play Store or the App Store to download the app. Today, as we launch the MTM Pulse HR Focus Business Challenge, we would like to urge all students in the tertiary universities to register and participate in the challenge. Be innovative in the solutions they provide and use the skills they will acquire through the, this challenge to excel in the field of entrepreneurship. We wish the organizers and judges well in the roadmap leading to the selection of the winner for the 2021 MTM Pulse Business Challenge. Thank you. MTM Pulse Business Challenge is back with a bang. This year's business challenge journey starts from today and will last for the next four months. The competition starts with the application and selection stage, which will last a total of four weeks. Three weeks for receiving entries and one week of selection. Once selection starts, selected participants will go through a two-day orientation process about the competition. The competition will begin in earnest and will contain three elimination stages before the grand finale in December. You can now apply to be part of the MTN Pulse Business Challenge online at www.events.hrfocusuniverse.com slash business challenge and stay updated by following us on our social media handles. We wish all participants hopefuls all the best. Everywhere you go. By the powers vested in me as the Editor-in-Chief of HR Focus Africa, I now declare the MTN Pulse Business Challenge 2021 duly launched. <laughs> Once again, thank you so much for joining us online. We would share on our social media pages the various details that you would need to participate in this competition. The first step is to fill in your information at the link events.hrfocusuniverse.com slash business challenge. 
the event link, the registry, the registration link is available in the chat section and it's also available in our bio on all our posts regarding business challenge. So just find the link if you can't follow it. I'll repeat it, events.hrfocusuniverse.com slash business challenge, forward slash business challenge. So that's the link for you to register. You key in your details and then we will get in touch with you. The first challenge, I'm just going to give you um, a teaser or a tip ahead of the competition. The first challenge would be for you to send in an elevator pitch video. So if you don't know what that is, research what an elevator pitch video. As somebody that is keen on business and entrepreneurial sense, if you want to have a proper entrepreneurial sense, you need to know how to have a business pitch, an elevator pitch, how to introduce yourself to somebody you've never met before, present your strengths, present your offering, the value that you bring to the table. That's what an elevator pitch is, and that's what you will be required to send in as the first part of the business challenge. If you are successful, you will be selected to move into the competition and actually engage in the challenges that we have set ahead of this championship. The prizes to be won range from cash prizes of 10,000 Ghana CDs and many, many more souvenirs from our partners and a lot of other opportunities that you would benefit from as business people and entrepreneurs. So students near and far, we encourage you to visit events.hrfocusuniverse.com slash business challenge, key in your details and register to be part of the MTN Pulse Business Challenge 2021. Thank you so much for joining us for this live launch and we will see you next time. challenge is back with a bang. This year's business challenge journey starts from today and will last for the next four months. The competition starts with the application and selection stage which will last a total of four weeks. Three weeks for receiving entries and one week of selection. Once selection starts, selected participants will go through a two-day orientation process about the competition. The competition will begin in earnest and will contain three elimination stages before the grand finale in December. You can now apply to be part of the MTN Pulse Business Challenge online at www.events.hrfocusuniverse.com slash business challenge and stay updated by following us on our social media handles. We wish all participants hopefuls all the best. Everywhere you go. MTN Pulse Business Challenge is back with a bang. This year's business challenge journey starts from today and will last for Hey there, my name is Felicia Kwayenkum, a final year business administration student at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, specializing in international business. Last year, I had the opportunity to participate in the MTM Pulse Business Challenge and I came out as the winner. I took home a cash prize of 10,000 Ghana cities and souvenirs from MTN. The challenge presented me with the opportunity to learn from seasoned professionals in various fields as they serve as our judges. I got to work with amazing people from other universities whom I learned a lot from. I got the opportunity to network and to also build on my self-confidence. Most importantly, I learned how to meet deadlines. You could be the next winner. Just visit events.hrfocusuniverse.com slash business challenge and register to participate in the competition. Fill in your information and prepare to send an elevator page. Tell them why you should be part of this competition. All the best. See you on the winning side. Everywhere you go.